Alrighty, so as you guys know, the lawn is looking pretty dang good. But you know, there is a couple of spots in the backyard that are still a little bit humpy bumpy because of all that wash we had from that rain and because when I put the rotary mount on it as well, it did sink in a little bit in some areas and left some tire tracks. So we're going to level that out with some top dressing. So today I'm going to show you guys how to properly top dress your lawn and a couple of different techniques. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So this will probably just be a really quick video, just showing you the techniques of how to do it, but that doesn't really matter. Um, but first thing I did before I actually putting the top just down, I put a little bit of seed down in some areas that still were a little bit thin. Most of it's pretty good, but there's just slightly thin areas, but that's all right. So we're gonna, I did that first this morning, and now I'm just gonna start shoveling out the soil and start throwing it out and top dressing. So let's just get into it, eh? So I tell you what, if you are doing this, try to get someone else to help you because it is a massive job. I've got two and a half meters here, which is heaps. So I'll give you guys some calculations on how to figure out how much soil to actually put out in your backyard. So basically what I do is, you measure out how much your area is, how many square meters your yard is. So mine is about 300. So then what I do is, I go 300 times 0 0.01, which is 10 mil, which is gonna get you how many meters cubed you actually need for your, well, cubic meters that you need for your whole area. So I needed about three. Now, I end up just getting about two and a half because I know some areas don't really need anything at all. But generally you go about 10 mil of topsoil or top dressing soil in your yard just so you can get some a lot of those divots out. But you've got to always remember too when you're top dressing that you actually don't want to cover the leaf up underneath. So for example, if we're putting down some top dressing soil, like just here, we want to make sure that there's still leaf popping out over the top. Now we're going to be fine here because this is 30 mil high. But say if you scalped your lawn down and were top dressing, you always got to make sure that there's some leaves popping at the top so they can photosynthesize and grow back through. Also, make sure when you are doing this, it is in prime growing season. So for cool season grass, autumn, perfect time to do it. I always recommend doing it in autumn for cool season grass. Now, warm season grass, you're going to want to do it in spring or in early summer. You can get away with it in the middle of summer, you just got to keep the water up to it a bit more. But always remember, cool season grass, autumn, warm season grass, in spring and summer. And you can do cools in season grass as well in um, spring, early spring. You just don't want to do it when it starts getting too hot and it starts slowing down. Now I know this is a question I'm going to get asked, is why aren't you using sand, Ben? Well, basically the place in town that I get my stuff from doesn't have sand that is good enough to actually use on my yard. So this stuff is the next best thing. Still got quite a bit of sand in it, a bit of sandy loam. The only problem is it has a little bit of bark chip, but we'll make do with it. It does decompose naturally anyway. But I would use sand like we do at the golf course, some 90-10 or some washed pit sand or something like that, but it's not available to me, so this is the next best thing. And it works fine. I've used it so many times before, it's absolutely fine. Alrighty, so we're in the back corner now of my backyard. Ba -ba, right there. So basically, I'm gonna show you a couple of different techniques on how to do this, but I always like to start in one corner and walk, work my way across and then back through. It also just means you're not trampling on everything as well. Um, in your yard once you've actually done it. So you get it nice and level and then you can just go from there. All right, so let's just show you this technique. All right, so I've shown you guys this in videos before, but basically what I'm gonna do is grab me shovel, grab a full amount and basically just flick it across. Now we don't wanna to go too thick. We wanna go nice and light. About 10 mil basically. Now it takes a while to get this technique, but once you get it, it's so handy. I just think it's just 10 times quicker. I don't know about 10 times, that might be an exaggeration, but you get the gist. Now that technique really is my favorite. We use that at the golf course on the bowling green when the machine breaks down sometimes. Um, and they used to, back in the day, they used to do all the golf greens like that. So there is a technique to it, but it is really, really good and really handy. Once you get it and you get your, your flick wrist and <laughs> flicking action right, it's pretty good. Now there's a couple of other ways to do it. People actually like to tip it out and spread it out with a rake. So I'll just give you a quick example of how you do that. I just find it takes a bit longer and you don't get, we well, do get an EVA coverage, but it just, you know, I like this technique better. So 
there you go, that's as easy as it is. So you just tip it out, rake it down, and then spread it out with the back of the rake, or the top of the rake, whatever way you want to work it, and just spread it out like that, and it comes out pretty good. Now, it just comes down to personal preference, as I said, so I'd prefer to do it flicking it out, and then later on I actually rub it in with the lawn level, so really comes down to personal preference. So I did get somebody asking me the other day, how would you do just bare spots in the yard instead of doing the whole yard, just top dress the bare spots, so let's choose this bare spot just over here, and I'll show you guys what I would do. Pretty much the same thing. Let's do it. So you just get the same thing. You get a shovel full and you just sort of shape it into those spots, like so. So you can be real precise where you actually put your dirt. Then all you basically do the same thing with the back of the rake. Rake it in or use a lawn level just to get it level there as well. Or you can even use the back of the shovel, but I'd, I'd use the back of a rake. Now the biggest reason why I'm doing this today is just because I have a cylinder mower or a real mower, whatever you want to call it. And I'm basically trying to get all those dips and dippets out of the yard because when I was using it the other day, because it's not a really heavy cylinder mower, if you had like a Toro Greens Master or something like that, you'd be fine. But since this is quite a light mower, you need it to be very, very even. So it's pretty close, but not close enough. So I'm just getting all those humps and hollows out of the whole yard. Now, if you had a rodeo mower, I wouldn't be too worried about doing this unless you're getting your height of cut really, really low. But if you have heaps of problems with high and low areas, do this. Now sometimes you may be able to do it in one hit and knock it all out in one go because you don't, we don't want to cover all the grass. So it might take you a couple of times. So every time it grows through, um, maybe every four weeks, you can actually top dress if you like during the growing season. Right, let me just show you guys quickly this technique again. So what you're going to do first is plant that foot on the ground in front of you like you're about to have a good swung. And then basically this arm comes back, comes through and flicks down. I won't do it. I'll do it real slow for you. Come back. Flick down and flick across and keep that foot planted. we are all done top dressing oh man I'm stuffed now oh well it's done so I went a bit heavier than I originally intended because I had more dirt you know anyway it's good I'm glad I went heavier because now it's gonna get rid of all those little divots so as you can see looking good so that steps done so next step is to actually rub it in so I'll just show you guys all the areas first how much dirt we got down so I'll flip the camera around there's the back there up the side there then we've got out the front so I'll just flip the camera down a bit closer so you can see how thick I actually went down with this top dressing soil. Now, it's sitting on top of the grass at the moment, but it will drop down once we start using the lawn level. Alrighty, we are all done and dusted. So all of it's rubbed in, cleaned it all off, looking pretty good. The little lawn level created some stripes in the background as well. Shows you how easily a printer or ryegrass just stripes up. Crazy stuff. But anyway, that's all good. There's a bit of bark chippy stuff on top, which I raked most of it off and um, got rid of it. But as you can see, just here, it's just a couple of little bark chippy bits, which are a pain in the bottom, but it'll be fine. They'll decompose naturally down into the soil. Um, so that's why I'm going to give this a bit of a water in right now afterwards, because if you don't water it in, it's all just going to sit on top and not drop back down into the canopy. So we're going to water it in so it drops back down nice. Now if you are thinking about top dressing, pair a renovation alongside with it. So a renovation basically is you're going to give it a, a scalp or a scarify if you've got warm season grass, apart from buffalo. Just, just scalp it down but don't scalp it too low. Um, then you're going to punch some holes in it with a corer machine and then you're going to top dress it and fertilise it afterwards as well. And keep the water up to it for about, um, about two weeks basically. So that's the best time to do it. Um, a top dress is when you actually do a renovation. And remember, warm season grass, do it in spring or summer. Cool season grass, do it in autumn. 
Alrighty, well that's about it for this video guys. If you guys have any questions on that, feel free to ask them in the comments below because I'm sure there's something I didn't cover in that topic, so just ask me below. Subscribe if you haven't already because it's just fun to subscribe me. <laughs> like this video if you learned something new and you have a good week. I'll tell you what, I still really need to clean out this rain gauge behind me here. How manky and disgusting does that look? Ooh, we haven't had any rain for ages so just haven't bothered me, but I think it's growing something in there anyway. Ugh.